Hi there, this video is just going to be covering some tips on beatboxing, so a few people have been asking me for advice. Now to be honest, it's been inspired mainly by the fact that winter is fast approaching, and this is when normally I'd be advising people to be using chapsticks. The reason for this is because beatboxing in the cold can really, really mess your lips up. For an anecdote, there was one time when I beatboxed on the way home from a house party very early in February, and my lips were basically falling off by the end of it. So, because winter is fast approaching, look after yourself, use chapstick, you may look like a bit of a woman putting it on if you're a guy, but it's better than having bloody chapped lips. Another very obvious tip for beatboxing is to stay hydrated. A lot of people have been mentioning that their mouths get very dried out while doing certain sounds, and that's because you need to drink a lot of water before, during, and after practicing or performing. What people don't realise, while I'm filming these tutorials, I actually have a glass of water right underneath the camera. It's because for some sounds, particularly those where you're taking in air, like the inward K, or where you're doing something high pitch like the siren. These can really dry your mouth or your throat up, so you do need to make sure you're staying hydrated. On top of that, it's generally good to watch what you're eating as well. For example, drinking milk can create mucus in your throat, which then makes it very, very hard to beatbox. Same thing goes for if you eat cheese or chocolate. The same really applies if you're eating it directly before practicing. Obviously, you can eat it a few hours before. It's still something to watch out for if you are having trouble. But now, a few people have also been asking me how they can motivate themselves further to keep on practicing. That's actually a very interesting thing to say because a lot of people do start to lose interest in beatboxing. Their attention levels can sort of go up and down. It's, ha it's happened with me, it happens with a lot of people. Number one thing I can suggest, which I tell just about everybody, is get your friends into it. Teach your friends beatboxing, show them these tutorials, show them humanbeatbox.com, show them the tutorials on there. It doesn't take much to do, your friends could really get into it and you'll have somebody to jam with and practice with. Mention humanbeatbox.com bring me to the next idea, and that is to join beatboxing communities. And there's a lot of communities out there, there's humanbeatbox.com, beatbox.be, beatboxaustralia.net, and I really do recommend finding one which suits you. These websites also organise events, like jams, or like humanbeatbox.com has the Human Beatbox Convention, or Beatbox or Championships. And these are great because you can go along, you can meet beatboxers, you can jam with them, learn new sounds, and it's something that gets you into the scene. Finally, the absolute top tip is practice. Cannot say enough, practice, 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 practice. If you can't do a sound, practice it. If you still can't do it, experiment with something else, practice that. If you're having trouble with a beat, practice it. Can't do something fast enough, practice it until you can. There are a lot of people who are expecting the media, oh, but I don't want to practice, I want to do something straight away. That's fair enough. There will be some things you do get straight away. Any musician has to practice. Slash didn't wake up one morning able to play the guitar like he does. He had to practice to get there. Hope this video has helped. Hope you learned a thing or two. Peace out.